Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got something really interesting, something really juicy. Uh, so basically we got two top coaches in the world right now, Miloš Arčev and Patrick Tour beefing, and beefing big time. So these guys got in an argument and it got heated, like seriously heated. So if you guys watched the episode of Muscle and Fitness Actually Managed Podcast from two weeks ago, then you know what I'm talking about. Miloš Arčev mentioned that he used to prep Patrick Tour back in the day in 1996 or 1997. And Patrick couldn't remember that. Or could he? So before I say anything else, let me play this part of the podcast for you guys so you can get an idea of what happened. Uh, Mauro Sassi introduced me to Patrick. Mauro asked me, can I talk to Patrick a little bit about, you know, certain things that I do, right? So, of course, I did. And then I do remember, uh, you know, Patrick doing this one show and uh, how we planned Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On Wednesday, Patrick wanted to quit. You remember that? He, he, he looked... Mm -hmm. Super bad, like on Wednesday, and uh, then Thursday you look uh, better, and then Friday you look uh, spot on. You don't remember because uh, I coached you for that show, and no. uh, you must be mistaken with somebody else. No, I guarantee, Patrick, it was you. I remember me coaching you for the show. No, we had I, I back in the day we had you know several discussions. We had to write letters, and I remember sending you what I was doing through a letter. And uh, you answered me, oh, this is one of the best plans I've seen. Keep doing this. It was not writing at the time. We, we had emails. I, I, I didn't have an email back then. All right. I'm going to pause right here. So if you want to watch the whole thing, it lasted a little bit longer. You can watch it on the podcast. But basically, as you can see, Milos reminded Patrick that he prepped him and he coached him for one show. And Patrick couldn't remember. He was saying he was sure that Milos was mistaken and I don't know about you guys but I thought it was weird because I know Milos always remembers all these crazy details from every year every show he knows the exact lineups who placed where all the freaking details anything about bodybuilding Milos remembers exactly so is it really possible that Milos is like losing his mind and making up things or something like that I thought it was it was weird I thought maybe maybe Patrick doesn't want to admit this because now he's at the level of Miloš Arčev as a coach, and he doesn't want everybody to know that he kind of started by learning from Miloš. At least that's what I thought at the moment. Also, Patrick goes and he basically explains the entire protocol from Miloš. He was explaining exactly what they were doing as far as carbs, as far as water, as far as electrolytes, and like all the stuff they were taking, they were doing. So he clearly remembers something. He knows there was something. He doesn't remember speaking to him through email. He remembers writing letters. And he remembers Miloš telling him that his protocol, his own protocol, is already perfect. But he does not remember ever corresponding on email as Miloš clearly does remember. I actually spoke to Patrick, I asked him, and I'm gonna tell you what he told me after I played the part of the next podcast that got out a week after this first one. And then it's James had some interesting, some insightful things to say. Check it out. Milos mentioned that he trained Patrick, he worked, for, with worked with him for a show. And Patrick, the way Patrick reacted, it was, it was so believable that, you know, Milos might be wrong. But I've come to find out that I talked to a good friend of also Milos, an even longer friend to Milos than me. I've known him for maybe 20 years now. Uh, Mauro Sassi, who remembered exactly because he was the one that connected him. And he said, no, Patrick worked with Milos. After Milos told me, I said, listen, I, I work with this guy. You know, I, I, he, he messaged me uh, several times and thanked me afterwards, years later. All right, so at this point, on the second podcast, it started to get very interesting. So Dennis James spoke to Mauro Sassi. You probably know Mauro Sassi. He's like the famous Italian coach, uh, Team Stones. He prepped all the Italian guys, of course. Uh, Andrea Presti, Andrea Muzi, uh, this guy right here, Tio Leguerier. And, uh, like, he's a, he's a known guy in the industry for a long time, since the 90s. A long-time friend of Milo Sarchev and, as you just heard, Dennis James as well. And so, basically, this guy, I mean, he's a person of integrity. He basically said that he introduced Milo Sarchev to Patrick Tour and that they did actually work together. So, why would Patrick deny something like this? It obviously looks like it is very much true. It's not like it would hurt his image or his integrity as a coach. Maybe you could even say that it helped him, you know, one more experience. But 
I don't think it would help him or hurt him. It doesn't matter. It was over 20 years ago, like 30 years ago. So if it is true, then I guess it's something personal. I guess Patrick, for some reason, doesn't want to give Milos the credit. And like I said, I spoke to Patrick. I asked him what he has to say about this. And he told me that he's gonna go to the podcast one more episode and hopefully they will clear things out. But what he told me is that he did communicate with Milos, but Milos never really prepped him. He never saw him. He just gave him the protocol. And that's the protocol that uh, Patrick explained on the podcast. And if you watch the whole podcast, Dennis had this argument that Patrick must have been coached by Milos because he knew the protocol. That's not necessarily it. Are you really coached by someone if that person just sends you the protocol and never even sees you or anything like that? I wouldn't say that that's a coaching, really. That's just giving out information. And Milos knows that. Milos is not saying that that's what happened. What Milos is saying is that they were actually having conversations on email and that Patrick didn't like the look on the Wednesday, but later he was happy, he was super happy with what he brought to the stage, and also Milos says that Patrick was thanking him for years, and not like once, but like every couple of years, he was telling him how much he appreciated that, how much it helped him, Milos basically said that it was excessive, that it was a bit too much, but he didn't mind that, but now that Patrick is saying that he never worked with Milos, that's when it got heated, so two days from now, this Sunday, a new episode, a new podcast is gonna get out, and that's the episode with Patrick and Milos, however, we got a little teaser on Instagram, and so let me play this for you guys so you can get an idea of what is about to go down. How, how would I know that you were so displeased and you look like sh and, uh, you know, that's what, how that's do what I know I like that? To know. That's what I like to know, how you know something like that, because so, so, it didn't happen. That, you think, oh. you, no, honestly, you think that I made that up? Well, that's what shocked me. It's like, why would you need it, to say Because I remember like a f***ing elephant. And you were that example. And the guy would... And as Dennis knows, if I give you depletion, now you say seven days, zero carbs, which I never do. Okay, no, not seven days, zero carbs. But I do go very low carbs. Oh my god, I can't wait for this episode. I can't wait. Milos definitely lost his temper, and I always knew that he was short-tempered, and I heard that mostly from people from Serbia. I haven't really seen that online, ever, really. And I thought maybe Milos kind of lost that with age, but no. No, he still has that fire in him. And you guys know that Milos is from Serbia like myself. I know him personally. I met him, we trained once, and he coached me for some time as well. And I was always very careful when I made my videos because I didn't want to piss him off. And also, I mean, I was very respectful because I respect the guy so much. And Patrick here... I'm not saying he tried to disrespect him intentionally, but he's kind of doing that by saying that Milos made all this up. <laughs> Why would Milos make all this up? I don't think that's what happened. I believe it's some kind of a misunderstanding. Basically what Patrick told me, how he explained it in my DMs, I'm not gonna show you my DMs, but basically what he says is that he communicated with Milos, but Milos never officially coached him. He never saw him, he never adjusted his plan to Patrick's needs. He only sent him the usual protocol, how it's usually done, you know, water manipulation, car manipulation, and you know, all the other stuff that comes into the peak week. And uh, Patrick kind of did that, but he was never officially coached by Milos. And he's denying that they had conversations on email. And he's also saying that they only met in 98. And Milos is saying that they met in 96 or 97. And then again, Mauro Sassi is also saying that Patrick was coached by Milos Sarchev. So nothing is cleared yet. We only know that Milos lost his temper and that these guys are officially beefing pretty hard on this podcast. So I can't wait to watch it. Hopefully they will resolve it. Hopefully we'll come to a conclusion. Hopefully it's not gonna end by Patrick saying that Milos is lying and Milos saying that Patrick is lying because I like Patrick. I respect Patrick a lot and I don't think Milos would ever come up with something like this out of blue. So I don't think Milos is lying. I think there is something underneath this whole thing that Patrick is going to explain and we're going to see the reasoning why he's not saying, why he's not admitting that Milos coached him, in fact. 
I have no idea what is gonna happen right now, but I know it's gonna be very interesting. And once all this thing is cleared, I'm gonna make a reaction video to that. So guys, stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Whatever your thoughts are, whatever you think happened here or you caught something, somebody lying about something, whatever you have, tell me down below in the comment section. And once again, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.